We're going to have a shift now. We're going to bring in some other players, and some of them are going to go away. By the way, I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the choral director. It's a little overdue, but well deserving. Would you please put your hands together for Wendy Walsh? It's a choir thing? Yeah. Very moving. Listen. You know what it reminds me of in Frozen? The little, uh, the Swedish guy in the little hut? <laughs> Probably something completely different. But... <laughs> Alright, we move on to the winds. It's going to take a little while. I think it's important right now that we acknowledge, and I want to find them because, um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, Ken. I was really fortunate I got to speak on a career day as an entertainer to a, uh, a school that was kindergarten through eighth grade. And one of the things I kept emphasizing over and over to them is that whatever you do, if you want to go into entertainment, we need you. If you like to draw, if you like to sing, if you like to play a musical instrument, those are the obvious things. But what if you are leaning towards architecture? Well, then we need set builders. If you like lights, if you like electronics, all of that stuff comes into play. Because I don't care how good the performances are, how good the script is, how good the music is, if the lights don't come on, then la di da So we want to acknowledge the producer, the director of the Academy of uh, Music and Performing Arts, Marlene Zaccaro. The production manager, the delightful Gail Torna. <laughs> the technical director, and well, I'll say his name and then I'll explain a little bit, Zachary Birch. <laughs> I have witnessed firsthand when they say, oh, we need, we gotta get this done, and they look at the students. And they say, you, 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 and you, and you get it done. And somehow it all happens. They have people in the booth. I want you right now to turn around and look at the booth back there and give them a round of applause. Like yeah, Izzy. Yeah. Everything that goes on backstage. You know in the first half, the first half of our show tonight, when magically a young lady dressed all in black would come out and set up something. And then... She was the one who adjusted the piano from full lid to half lid. We need her. <laughs> it's just really, really simple. You guys almost ready? No? Oh, I like that. Uh, I like that. Pretty close? <laughs> Too bad. All right, let's move forward. <laughs> we are now going to entertain you with the Wind Ensemble. The Wind Ensemble is directed by Mr. Gregory Robinson. They will be performing for you Harlem Nocturne, written at the end of the Harlem Renaissance in 1939 by Earl Hagen. The soloist will be Emilio Barquette. And when they're ready, they will perform This is the Wind Ensemble.
on stone. He's right behind me and he's personally thanking every single one of the musicians. Nice job, nice job as they come off the stage. You know what that means to a kid? That's awesome. By the way, I just want to acknowledge that commercial. I think it's a car commercial and it shows some guy trying to conduct an orchestra. It's obvious that that guy has no idea what he's doing. That was a conductor. Did you? And I like it when the music is in their soul because at the very end, did you notice how he went up on his toes and he was just like that ah, when he got to the I love that stuff.